Hi everyone, I'm Shane Stevenson, Director of Museum Collections and Curator here at the Buffalo Naval Park. And for today's video on this windy October day, late October day, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the windlass and capstan and we're going to actually take you down below into the USS Little Rock where people don't normally go to show you all of the assemblies and mechanisms uh, to discuss dropping those 12,000 uh, pound anchors through the hawse pipes for the USS Little Rock. So if you take a look behind me here, what you'll see right on the main deck are the capstans. All right, there'll be some inter interchangeable words here. We've got capstan, we've got windlass, uh, but we want to call those the capstans, all right? We have them painted like we do with the running lights, the green and the red for starboard and port, and you can see that that's actually welded into there, and we've highlighted that with uh, white paint. All right, but the capstans, typically what the way you think of it is the capstans move the chain while the windlass secures it in its current in its place. All right, so the other way to do that as well is if you take a look down here, we have those devil claws right here. So that's a, a very vernacular term about devil claws and that also secures the chains uh, to keep them from moving like the windlass does. So we have the chains that go through. There's a, one of the hawse pipes on the port side. Here's the hawse pipe on starboard. Right? And I'd also like to highlight we do have a fathom link. Right? So the Navy and certainly ships themselves uh, paint uh, different links in the chain based on the fathoms. This is red with the two whites. So what that means is that that's the 15 fathom chain. All right, that's about 90 feet. So when that clears, when you release the chain, that clears, you know you've lowered about 90 feet of the chain. All right, let's take a walk back here. So again, the reason why we're calling this capstan is because it's on a vertical axis, all right, up and down. Typically, if you really want to get technical, the capstan is the up and down axis, the windlass is the horizontal axis. All right, and the space we'll take you to in a few minutes, we'll show you like the windlass. All right, but this capstan, this would lower the chain. It would come up from this hawse pipe here for the port. It come up there from the starboard and wrap around and release down to the water or this is how they would bring it back and then the chain goes back down the hose pipe into well down below is the chain locker. All right, so we're going to take a walk down there and you'll see some pretty cool stuff and again this is not on the tour so uh, we haven't really cleaned up any of these spaces. Uh, I do have to do a little climbing because we do have a little oil on the deck uh, that you might see but we're going to go through some spaces and I'm actually going to show you where the original teak is kept. So let's head down to the um, second deck and we'll see you there. Alright, seeing as how it's Halloween, we are going where only the dead dare to tread. Alright, we need to oil this. Can we oil this here a little bit? So right now we're in, uh, we're on the second deck, one deck below the main deck, and we are heading forward. Uh, this area was secured this season. It usually is open on the tour, but um, this will lead down through that ladder right there. This can lead down to the uh, dental department and the medical department and the hopefully our research library that I'm looking to open. Got a secure hatch there. All right, we'll walk forward. We're going to be passing through the barbette. So this is the barbette for turret number one of the 6-inch 47 that I was talking about in the armaments video uh, for USS Little Rock. And so this barbette protects the handling rooms and bringing all of the powder and ammunition up. We've got our forward heads here, 
better have a men's room, ladies room. These again are usually open on the tour route for encampments certainly. You know, there's three showers in each, three stalls. But we are now heading into the continuation of the anchor windless compartments. All right, this would be part of first division, all right, which is under the gunnery department. First division, bosun mates, uh, you know, hull techs, painters, things like that. All right, so this is this would be their division here. So first division, uh, you know, again, navy ships were broken into different divisions, and this is where the first division would work. Again, I have to crawl over some bad stuff. We do have a little oil that's seeping around here. Um, that we do have to uh, get cleaned up, but if you give me a minute, I'm gonna do some climbing. Nope. Oh, I need the light up. see one and two technically uh, not technically but they could be painted green and red starboard port this is the assembly the wheel and drum assembly for those cap stands that I was just showing you up on the main deck so right up here you will see that this is what turns those cap stands to uh, make the chain Rise, fall, and to secure. Oh. All right. We have, again, so you can see here, leading right up. I don't know if you can catch that, but leading right up to uh, the cap stand. We have brakes. We have the systems here to open and release and to close and secure. Back here is what I will call the windlasses. All right, so I'm going to take that camera. Thank you. We've got Steven Tedesco, Director of Education here. He's uh, doing the filming. Say hello, Steve. Hello, Steve. There he goes, just like Andrew. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Steve. Ah, okay, so what we are looking at is, as I mentioned, there's first division there. You, know, you can see that. Now these would be, technically, the windlasses. Because these are horizontal. And this is the assembly to secure and to release the chain or to bring it back up. We've got the hoist and lower uh, you know, wheels. And here are the hawse pipes that will lead the two chains up and down. There's one there, and here's one there. All right, so all of this is part of the windlass and capstan assembly. I'm standing on a hatch now, which I will open up. But as you can see, this is leading down to the chain locker, way down at the bottom of the ship. And again, there's the hawse pipe there. There's the other, you can't see it, but there's another one right there on port. So again, that's where the chain comes down right there. And so again, for USS Little Rock, the anchors we're 12,000 uh, pounds each, and you can use the fathom links to figure out where you are. This was a pretty dirty job, right? So, you know, there'd be a lot of rust buildup, and as the chain is lowering or uh, hoisting or coming back on board, you know, a lot of that rust would be, re would be released into the air. And so when someone's doing this, especially in today's world, uh, they're wearing, you know, masks and things like that uh, because just all of the, uh, the paint chips off, the paint flies, there's sparks, and a lot of the rust that may have gathered on the chain is released as it goes uh, through the hawse pipe 
releasing this plume of like red uh, dust. All right, again, now we're getting to the peak of USS Little Rock. And again, we're still in first division. All right, so they were part of the gunnery department. One day I'll climb down here <laughs> and especially look in that hatch there. That's probably, that might be a fuel oil tank. Can't really read the words on it, but let's see. Yeah, I can't, I can't read that from up here. I think it says fuel oil. So this is what we do part of in our off season, right? And we're not in our off season yet, but we will be soon. And uh, we kind of go through the ship, some spaces that we don't normally see. And there's no apparitions here again for this late October video, but I am getting a very nice smell from our teak wood. All right, our teak was replaced in, say, 2016. We received a nice large grant uh, to replace them, and now we have some composite, uh, you know, boarding and uh, composite wood uh, that make up the deck on the USS Little Rock, but we did keep some of our original teak And here it is here. So now I'm getting a really nice smell. All right, so this would have been some of the original teak wood. My understanding is this teak wood would have been from 1945 during her original construction. I do not believe that it was uh, changed out in the 60s to 76 while she was in her second service. And we're getting really close here to the peak. So this was a storeroom. Again, for the, now we're in the supply division. So this was the storeroom, one of the storerooms for supply division, S division. And unfortunately, with this bulkhead, we can't get any farther. But you can see how close the two hulls are together. with this transverse bulkhead. And here we have some framing with the lightning that John Branning talks about with the holes in it. And there is supply division. All right, heading back through the teak room. It's a little spongy here. So I'm going to explore this, this space a little bit more in the off-season, and we'll probably have another video for you. But again, we appreciate you watching. Um, you know, again, this is some space. Maybe I'll add this on the curator tour. If you've not been on our curator tour, uh, I do a two-hour tour uh, that shows you spaces like this on board that uh, no one really sees. And... Um, that's $50 a ticket, and I offer them maybe about six, seven times a year. So for our 2022 season, take a look for the Curator Tour, and uh, you'll go to spaces like this. All right? Please subscribe to our other uh, social media. Click this uh, subscribe button, ring the bell, all that stuff. And I hope you learned a little bit about the Anchor Windlass and the Capstan system here for the USS Little Rock's 12,000-pound anchors. Thanks so much.